Hey guys, it's Kristen. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a single crochet stitch. Uh, this is a very easy and basic stitch to do. I'm gonna walk you through it really slow, so if you've never crocheted before, um, don't worry, you'll definitely be able to at least do a project using single crochet stitch by the time you're done with this video. Now before I jump into the video, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Also comment below so that I know you're here, and if you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit this bell so that you're alerted when I upload a new video. In today's video, I'm using one of my yarns that I've already rolled, uh, but it's a Simply Soft, and I'll put all the information in the video description. I will be using a 5.5 millimeter hook to complete this project. So I'm gonna show you how to do a single crochet stitch, um, and I'm probably going to make a scarf, but you could do like a blanket, um, something like that as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a slip knot. I'm gonna take about four to six inches of yarn, and now I'm gonna wrap this around my thumb, pinch it at the bottom, and take one of the ends, it really doesn't matter, and put that through the loop. Okay, and we're just gonna pull tight. You can check the video description or the card if you wanna see that a little slower or some other options on how to do slip knots. So now we're gonna do a chain, but first let me show you how to hold the yarn. There are multiple ways to do this, but the way I do it is wrap it around my pinky, rotate my hand forward and put my finger underneath, and then pinch it with my middle and my thumb. So this right here is our tension. You want this to be not too tight, but also not like super loose or else you won't be able to grab the yarn. So now we're gonna do a chain. So we're going to hook the yarn with it facing up, rotate down, pull back through, rotate up. So again, you're gonna hook with it facing up, rotate down, pull through, and rotate up. So I'm gonna show you that again. You're going to hook the yarn rotate it down, pull through, and rotate up. So grab it facing up, rotate down, pull back through, and rotate up. So I've done four, and what we're gonna do is however you many you want, like if we're doing a scarf, we'll say, um, if you wanted maybe 12, you'll wanna add an additional one on the end, so we're gonna do 13 instead. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oops, and it just fell off. So now if that happens, if it falls off, don't worry about it, just kind of find the loop, put it back on. Even if you had pulled out a few of these, um, you can just re redo them. So now what we're gonna do is, you can kind of see these look like Vs. We're gonna go into the base, and the reason why we did an extra one is because I'm gonna go into this first one. So this one right here doesn't really count, so we're going into this one. So you're gonna put the hook through until you have it like this. Then you're gonna hook your yarn and pull it back through just the first one. So now you should have two on. You're gonna hook the yarn again and pull it back through both of them. You're gonna go into this next hole right next to it and you should have two on again. Then you're gonna hook, pull it through the first one and you should have two like that. Now you're gonna hook and pull it through both. So here's the hole right here. You're gonna go through that, so it should look like this. Now you're gonna hook the yarn, pull it through the first one, so it has two. Hook again, pull it through both. Now as you move along, it's gonna start looking a little more normal. Um, sometimes when you look at the one you're doing, it looks weird, but then at, as you move along, it starts looking more normal, and now you have something to grab onto. So it's really just getting through those first few. Um, just try not to get frustrated. So let's do it again. Um, go right into this next little hole right here. So you can kind of see, it's just the bottom of the V. Okay, so you're gonna go through there, and it'll be on the hook like this. You're gonna grab the yarn and pull it through the first one, and then you should have two. Now you're gonna grab the yarn and pull it back through both. So one thing I wanna point out is when I'm holding it like this, you can see there's like a hole right there, but what we want is this one at the base. So I don't know if you can see the difference. When I hold it like this, there's clearly a hole right there. That's not really what you want. You want at the base of the V. So you can kinda of see where these two pieces come together. If I hold it like this, you can see the V shape. Right, right here is the bottom of it. Okay, so now we've completed this row, and what we're gonna do is now go to the next one. So now that we're at the end, you're gonna hook and chain one, 
and chain two. We always have to go from right to left. So you're gonna rotate your work. And now we're gonna do the same thing. But now you have something to hold on to and you have to go kind of in a different spot. Right at the base of this, you can kind of see there's a bunch of holes. But if I go like this, that's the one we want right there. The one that's kind of glaringly obvious. So you're gonna put your hook right in there till it comes out the other side. You're gonna hook and pull it back through. And there you see we've got the two again like we did at the beginning. So then you're gonna hook and go through both. Okay, so we're gonna go into the next one. So we're gonna go right here in the middle. It's kind of in the middle of these two like loops. And it'll come out the other side and then you're gonna hook the yarn and just pull it straight back through till you have two. Then you'll hook this and pull it through both. So we'll go to the next one. So it's in between those two loops right here. Put your hook through, then hook the yarn, pull it back through until you have two. Then hook and pull it through both. So again, you're going to go through this, these two, you can kind of see they make like almost like an M. So you're gonna go right in the middle, hook the yarn and pull it back through until you have two. Then you're gonna hook and pull it through both. So I'll do this a few more times. So right here in the middle, till the hook comes through, hook your yarn and pull it back through that same hole. Now you have two and you hook and pull it through both, okay? So I'll show you how to rotate one more time. So let me finish this row out. Now the easiest way to know if you're done is to count each of your posts. So you can kind of see them right here, these little bubbles. So you should always have 12 if you're following me. Um, and that's the best way to know if you've lined it up because sometimes if you don't, you'll start getting this like S that curve. So now that we're at the end, you're gonna hook and chain one and chain two, okay? Flip your work so that we're going from right to left. You're gonna go into this base and then we're gonna come out the other side gonna hook the yarn and pull it back through and then you're gonna hook pull it through both okay here's the next hole so you're gonna hook in there till it comes out the other side hook your yarn pull it back through now you have two and then you pull it through both so you literally just do that exact same thing and you just go back and forth back and forth until you've gotten you know, your scarf, your blanket, however long you want it. If you're doing a blanket, obviously um, the first row that we did, the chain will need to be like a lot longer. But for a scarf, this is a good width for it. If you wanna do fringe, you can leave this long. Um, I'll have another video posted on how to attach fringe if you want that on your scarf. But I'm gonna do a few more rows so that you can kinda of see a general idea of when you have about you know maybe six inches or so of this, because right now it's a little hard to see. So I'll show you what it looks like when you have more completed. So here I finished a bunch of rows, so now you can see a little bit better of what it would look like when it's done. You may notice, now this is very common, when you first start, you might have like a bunch and then all of a sudden there's like a hole here. And that's because you you accidentally missed one of the loops. I would recommend that, you know, either you just do a bunch of these just to practice or go into it knowing that the scarf you make may not be perfect and it's like a test run or a practice one. But this is what it should look like. On the ends, this is common, so it kind of zigzags and a lot of people will do like a finish if you're doing a blanket or something um, and do another stitch going along the edge, which I'll show in a different video. But for a scarf, this is totally fine. If you notice when you look on the side, if it is not straight and it's kind of going like up like this, um, that means that you have different amounts in your row. So again, you're gonna wanna count these to make sure you have the exact same amount in every single row. So now let me show you when, let's say your project is done and you wanna end it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take about, I don't know, six inches or so of this and we're gonna cut that off. And then all you're gonna do is take this end and you're gonna put it through the loop and you're gonna just tie that off. And you can see it makes like a nice clean end that you can't even see. Um, so at this point then you could do the fringe, like I said, and I'll, I'll link the video when I do it um, in the video description. Or if you don't want fringe, then you just take a large needle and just weave it in and out um, about, you know, maybe about two inches or so, just so that you can't see it and then it's completely finished. But that's how you do a single crochet stitch. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps a lot. Also, comment below so that I know you are here, and if you wanna see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. You can also hit this bell if you wanna be alerted when I upload a new video.
I'll see you next time.